Hey guys, welcome back to All Around LEGO, and today we will be comparing the Republic Fighter Tanks set 75182 to set 75342. Let's get into it. This is the sheet that we will be using. We will be going off the minifig design value play feature, All Around LEGO, or my opinion, and then the total to go over some particulars first. Uh, 75182 costed 20 bucks at time of retail, 305 pieces, and it comes with two minifigures. And then 75342 costs $40 at time of retail, has 262 pieces, and has four minifigs. To get this comparison going, we will go over minifigures first. So for 75182, you have a Layla Sakura. It's been a while since we've gotten her. I think this was the last set we had her in for like five or six years. So really nice fig. Pretty standard. Nothing special there. And then for your gunner, this was exclusive to this set for a while until the ATT came out this year. Or last year, since it's 2023 now. I forget that. For 7.5. 342, you get Mace Windu with arm printing, you get a 187th Commander, and then you get two 187th Troopers. These three are exclusive to this set, none of these are exclusive to that set, and you get more minifigures, so how do I not pick 75342 for the minifig win? Now for the design of the set, we will not need any minifigures for 7513. 182 looks really nice. You can pop the hatch, put your gunner in there. Not going to demonstrate that. In the back, you have ammo for the stud shooters. These move. It's a smaller Republic fighter tank than we're used to, but it looks nice and the design flows well. Now, this one, if you've seen my review for it, you know that I'm not as optimistic about this one. I think this one is way too big. I think that it is a little unable to be accessed easy. And I think that the front part doesn't look good, and then it just juts up straight instead of like this one where it slowly moves in. So based on that, I'm going 75182 for design. For value, you got 20 bucks and 40 bucks. So with inflation, or with the extra 20 bucks, you're really getting two more figs and a couple more big pieces, but less pieces overall. And for 20 bucks, getting a Republic fighter tank with two minifigures, it's hard not to pick that for the value. Now, for play feature, you have a lot of different things. For 75182, you're able to move these guns. You can shoot out stud from the stud shooters. You got two of them and stuff. And then from the top, you can just open it up, put your gunner in, and then open back into the reload station. So nothing much there, but good play features for 20 bucks. Now, for this one, you can move these. You got spring-loaded shooters, which are way better than stud shooters. You can open this up and put your clone in there, and then close it up pretty easily. You can also move it around. And then in the back, you can open this up and have, like, your troopers falling out. I mean, not falling out, like, running out. And then at the top, you can put a figure in there also. And there's just a lot more playability potential with the $40 set, which you would probably expect, which is why I'm going for the play feature. Now, for my opinion, I obviously, as I have stated, definitely think that the 187th midi figures and the Mace Windu are definitely better. However, these figures aren't terrible either. Obviously, you get a clone gunner and an Alayla Sakura. Now, obviously, I think the design for this blows it out of the water for 75342. The value is obviously, obviously, in my opinion, definitely there. And then play features are cool. However, I don't really care too much about them. I do think some of the play features are not for the better of the set. Whereas this one, this hatch is so, so easy to pull. This one, for the life of me, I know it looks way better. And it does, but there's no easy way for me to access it, which annoys the crap out of me. Now, the back, obviously, this one doesn't 
have the ability for you to have your troopers roll out. However, this design is just so, so much better. Like the little armor on the sides using the snot bricks right there. Really nice. And I do like the smaller style for this set. So I'm going to have to give it to 75182 for my personal opinion. So in total, that means that 75182 had the majority of the check marks, which means that it is the winner in the better Republic fighter tank. Now, just to be said, they are both pretty good fighter tanks. Obviously, this one has amazing figures, which is a good point, and this one has an amazing build. Now, more times than not, we can't have the best of both worlds, in which case, we would want something like that. However, we do have, at least currently, a really good option, and we get some exclusive minifigures from it. This one, at the time, you had an exclusive minifigure. But they are both really good sets, in my opinion. And that is it. Be sure to have a great rest of your day. Uh, I'll have another video out soon. I hope you enjoyed this comparison. It was a lot of fun to film for two sets that I enjoy a lot. And I will see you next time in All Around Lego.